So we talked about the reason, you know, businesses would use marble. They can keep their own business, right? If someone's trying to buy a car, oh, you don't qualify. Instead of saying, nope, you can't buy. Uh, you can't buy right now. But if you follow this, come back to us in four weeks, we might be able to, to sell you this car. Is there anything else uh, from a business standpoint um, that is kind of improved in Marble 2.0? Yeah, there's that aspect of the cars are simple. Uh, mortgage is a simple is the aspect of it. Really, uh, where the benefit comes from for, for us to the consumer is credit is usually uh, a single point in time. You want to go buy something. So you fill out an application for it. So you either, you either get accepted or approved or you get rejected. Uh, what the consumer doesn't know is, is that, okay, I got accepted, but I, did I get the best terms possible? I just know I got accepted. And then if I got rejected, why did I get rejected? Am I 10 points away from getting uh, being accepted? Was I two points away or was I 150 points away? So there's the unknown where there is, uh, um, as we've always said, we operate in the world of everybody else's declines where there are so many circumstances where a person could have got declined because there was an error on their report. They didn't know that. People don't check it. People don't go until they actually go and acquire credit and say, oh shit, I got turned down, which is not only embarrassing, you know, uh, on it, but then they say, okay, how do I, uh, how do I fix it? Have you ever tried phoning TransUnion and seeing if you can get a hold of somebody and or, or or asking them to send you a credit report and trying to understand what a R7, R9 uh, <laughs> and trying to read it? It's like it's like from a different planet. Uh, you know, and so we we simplify all that for the individual to make sure that they can understand it. It's it's and I've said this many times, it's no different than if you take care of your health, health will take care of you. You take care of your, your financial well-being. When you want to improve your status in life and you want to build things for your family, it'll take care of you. But that needs constant monitoring. monitoring. Just like for your health, you need to exercise. You need to eat well. Um, not drink too much wine. Um, you know, you got to do things that but it's on a regular basis it's not a one-off uh i'm going to go to the gym one day for this year and i'm good you know that's not going to do you any good it really isn't and a lot of people say well yeah okay i'm going to sign up three months later i got my credit score i've got what i need then i'm going to then i'm going to cancel it fine you can do that but have you learned anything uh I, when you you know are you going to continue to monitor it or are you going to see where you're at there's you know there the for the cost of uh, of what it of what we charge for people to maintain uh, a uh, a knowing value of what their credit is worth to them uh, over over their life of what they're going to buy and what they're going to pay for it and interest they're going to an interest they're going to be charged it's such a so infinitesimal small part of the, talk, the talk to me about the, the business points uh you know and the benefits uh, just simply in the data you know we we talk about that often um so i would love just for you know a potential investor listening to this uh you know the opportunity and just collecting sure. data data the the beauty of what we're doing and the data that we collect that nobody else collects because uh we get access to the people's bank account and here is one of the biggest uh data points that nobody collects because they don't for the millions and millions of people in Canada that rent, landlords don't report to credit agencies. So people can have shitty credit, but they make their rent payment every month religiously. But that doesn't get identified. But in our data points, we collect that data. So <laughs> we get to know exactly what the person, and that's just one, you know, that's just one aspect of it. So from the data that we collect, we get to understand the consumer a lot better. We know their uh, propensity to purchase as well as their probability of default based on our AI and our machine learning on the data points that we collect. So we'll know, uh, we'll know before you know that you need to go to Shoppers Drug Mart to buy something. 
<laughs> because you can tell from the data. So as we know that you're going to go looking for furniture or you're buying a thing or you're renting a new place, we're going to know and we're going to be able to help businesses connect consumers with the products they're looking for. And, and it's all about it's all about the connectivity. It's all about the data. And for us, yes, there's value proposition and, and getting referrals and doing that. But that's not where the big picture is for us. It's the data that is the gold mine for us, is the pot at the end of at the end of the rainbow. It's the data that we collect. And as we've identified, you know, why did Visa pay buy plaid for seven billion dollars? Why did uh, into it by Credit Karma for five billion. Why did uh, Bank of Montreal Mastercard buy Velocity for a billion? It's the data. <laughs> and we'll touch on you know I I know we were, we were talking about it before, but we'll you know we'll tease it now. We we will do a video talking about the blue sky and sure. the data. And I think you know for a lot of individuals watching this, they go okay, like you you know data, but they don't understand how you turn data into money. Um, and hopefully we can kind of do a, a little insight on that. But hey, Mike, I think this has been great. You know, a little intro, obviously, to, you know, why Marvel's a little bit different, um, especially, you know, kind of the Marvel 2.0 that you talked about, uh, which is great. Anything else you think we missed that you want to add in? No, you know what? Again, we keep reiterating on, on it. I think we've covered it from many different angles on many different, uh, yeah. you know, videos that we've done uh, anything. It, it is a... Uh, uh, I think from an investment concept, uh, it's a simple, it's a SaaS-based product. It'll become an app pretty soon and and it'll get uh, the hockey stick growth is just around the corner. And it's something that uh, as more and more people find out about it, I, I mean, ever since we, you know, and we said it in the other video with Maestro, I mean, we had uh, uh, from an opening day, you know, we went uh, from zero to a uh, hundred subscribers. Now I think we're up to 300 subscribers a day that come into this thing. And, a and day. A day that are coming in. And so, you know, we used to have a, a hundred a month and now we're getting them, you know, in uh, 300 a day, Mike. That's crazy. I can tell you, this is what the platform's done for us in a simplistic model. We were able to uh, uh, engage and sign up a uh, a consumer. It used to take us eleven days on average. We did it. Now with the My Marble platform, one hour. <laughs> one hour. Crazy. Yeah. Well, we we might have to do a video talking about some of the you know the growth Marvel seen over the past yeah. year. That'll be a good one as well. Well, look, uh, a lot of good teasers here right at the end for the people watching. And look at the blue sky in the background, Jason. See, that was preliminary to our next uh, to our next video, the blue sky side of it. I thought I'd yes, yes. do a little foreshadowing here. Oh, that was a great teaser, Mike. It's almost like you did it on purpose. No. <laughs> I wish no, that was good. Fun. But either way, thanks for joining. Again, if there's any questions, you know, people Absolutely. have, you know, you leave them below. Um, we have some exciting videos planned, some, you know, blue skies, really going into the details, you know, where the money is, what the potential is, all that kind of stuff. But Mike, thanks for joining. Absolutely. Have a great day, guys.